Well lads, it's Tomo Man here and today I'm going to be doing 45 day aged Angus Prime short ribs on the Weber kettle, smoking them. Now I salted these ones overnight and look what it does, brings out that marbling. Really what it does is it seals the outside, stops all the good juices flowing out around the barbecue. These are going to be unreal lads. So get about 13, 14 coals on the go because you're going to be cooking this indirectly whatever seasoning works salt pepper whatever you want i'm a bit of a fancy whore so i went for a right good beefy one doesn't matter get something on it lash it on any which way you want fire it on look you're not a surgeon doesn't matter what way you get it on just make sure it's covered every which way because it'll form a nice little bark on it for you now this yoke will change your life it's a meter honestly you gotta get one stick it in the thick end of one of them you're aiming for about 204 fahrenheit 94 celsius take about five hours to get there over to the barbecue again, unlit coals because it's going to smolder away for about five hours. Bang the buys on, thermometer away from the heat. I'm using apple wood on this one because we dropped an apple tree here last year and I just dried it out. Anything would work, whatever you like, it's beef, you know yourself. Three hours in, this is what you're looking for. Yeah, your camera will blow out with the smoke, but you want that bone exposure. Now is the time to start basting every half an hour with your chosen sauce. I made a Korean barbecue, whatever you want. This is it at the four hour mark. Of course, I forgot to record the remaining bit. So it ended up being delicious, but at five hours, I pulled it, wrapped it for two hours, and that's what you got. It's still.